Hey, what's up everyone? Epithemy here, and for today's video, I wanted to go over the best maps in Counter-Strike. Now, if you all enjoy this video, then be sure to hit that like button, and let's get this video to 30 likes. Also, if you missed my most recent video, then be sure to click the cue card up in the top right hand corner to go check it out. Now, for the best maps. I'm sure a lot of you might be thinking, oh, he's going to be picking Dust2, Cash, Mirage, etc. But the maps I'm picking are mainly because you can get very close matches on them almost every time. And it takes genuine execution of smokes and flashes to really try and take the sights from the CTs and also be able to hold the sights from the Ts. So the best maps, in my opinion, are Train, Cobblestone, and Overpass. And I'm sure a lot of you have been like, oh my god, these maps are awful. I hate these maps. But as I said previously, I think these are the best maps, not only because they are hardly played, which makes the matches even closer, because not a lot of people are used to the maps, but when it comes to these maps, there are so many different and complex ways you can hold sights or take sights. There's so many off angles. There's so many really cool smokes and flashes that you can do. And your team just really needs to be able to execute the smokes and flashes as well. So, you know, people are always changing up strats on these specific maps. And of course, there are times where there can just be pure blowouts on these maps. But for the most part, the matches are generally close. And there is always a chance for a comeback when the other team gets momentum. And when it comes to these maps, there is sort of a default in place, but nothing really compared to like Mirage, Cash, and Dust 2, such as, you know, Mirage, you have two people go B, you have one play mid, and you have two A, you know, Dust 2, same scenario, and Cash, once again, the same scenario. There's no real true default, like, on these maps, like there is on Mirage, Cash, and Dust 2. And also, it really comes down to communication on these maps, and the lack of communication on the team can really make or break a win for a team many of the other maps that are consistently played such as mirage you can really go in with little to no communication and have one person carry the team if they're getting the right picks that can't really happen on train cobblestone and overpass yes it may be able to happen um, for a few rounds here and there but the second you were to lose a major gun round and be forced to save is where it can easily go downhill and can put the whole win in the other team's favor so overall in my opinion these are some of the best maps in counter-strike i want to know what you all think down in the comment section below i just think you can get really close and really great games out of it especially when you're watching pro matches and things like that just to see the way they set up smokes and and do their executes on sites are just really cool also list your favorite maps down in the comment section and let me know which one you like the most out of these three or which one you hate the most because i know a lot of people do hate these three maps also don't forget to hit that like button and get this video to 30 likes and share the video with your friends so my name is epitome and i'll catch you all next time